While homeowners still struggling to rebuild from last year's storms received a little help this week. The state Senate passed a bill that would reassess the damaged homes at their post-flood values. Now, Brandon Lewis was in hard-hit Fort Plain earlier today, and he joins us now from the newsroom to talk more about it. And I know, Brandon, over the summer, they were asking for a lot of help. Do you think that what they're getting is going to do enough? You know, they do think it, it will be enough. They said all along they need all the help that they can get. And in many cases, the homeowners didn't have or were ineligible for flood insurance. Tonight, we spoke with one woman who says every little bit gets her family closer to rebuilding. Seven months after these Fort Plain homes were flooded with water, several homeowners decided enough is enough and allowed their homes to remain condemned. Yvette Bridgewater is determined and not to become to one of those residents. At least we had hope and at least we're getting there. You know, it may not be it until, you know, it's going to take a while. The first floor of her home was torn to the studs. Just before the holidays, her husband put in this new stove near where the kitchen is still under construction. We had to run the cord all the way under there. While the conditions aren't optimal, they are livable as they work to rebuild. But like many homeowners in the area, the tax assessor didn't see it that way and taxed many at pre-flood prices. Technically, we're living in half a, half a house right now to pay full taxes on the house. That's a little bit of, you know, but like I said, when it's finished, no problem. I understand that. You know, you got to pay your fair share. This week, the state Senate passed a bill requiring reassessment, something co-sponsor Cecilia Kanchik says should have happened months ago. I had hoped we did it in the fall. I wanted us to come back and do it because these people can't wait to rebuild their lives. They need to move forward. And that's why one of the reasons I keep advocating for a session day in the fall so we can deal with those types of crises. We make do with it. That's a little hot. For Bridgewater, it means more money that she can dedicate to rebuilding her one-time dream home. Not easy to, you know, still have to pay the normal utilities and everything like that. Still have to work. You still have gas money. Then you still have to come home and work in the house. And then any little ease up can help. Now tonight we spoke with Fort Plains Mayor Guy Barton, who says he's happy his residents are getting the help they need and that it's a fair policy. But he is concerned, though, that it means less tax revenue for the village and is speaking to legislators about it. Property taxes, though, aren't the only hurdle for homeowners. Flood insurance costs are set to increase. What lawmakers are doing about it and if homeowners think it's enough, coming up tonight at 6. Live in the newsroom, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.